I'm kind of convinced myself maybe they do have enough. Okay, oh, well, I mean, that, that gets you the stun. <laughs> that gets you front line. It, it doesn't... Oh, man, notice. Is he dead? Tim's. Oh, Tim's down. gone. Tim's gone. Bottom lane noticed. Might be gone as well. He sure is. So the first blood going the way of the lane. I'm watching. Okay, Yopash pushing out Pango. That trample. Back for CS there, but back to the bottom lane. Roger. Now he's in a bad spot, oh, and FPC just on. walks on over and he throws in the ink. It's going to force the TP rotation. Nice stun coming out to Hark. They can't get the follow-up damage. Still, they do force the TP rotation up here, and Tim's will live. Tim's? Or not. What? He had one. Dead. Oh. Uh, nine stacks, yeah. He definitely could have used right there, but... I don't think he believes he die. But Yopaj, Yopaj believes. He just charges in, does this primal six. He's got an invis. This is this is big. Uh oh. Oh, next to a wall as well. Jackie boys instantly yep, yep, yep. dodges though, but I don't think. I, I don't believe. Uh, heal. Skim's heal. Wait, no, he can't reach him. He's dead. No. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Very well played by Laurel. Yeah. Just clip scan before you can get in range. Really important detail there. Well, that's such a big yeah, yeah. cooldown though. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom Let's lane, Beastmaster, gonna be jumped in. Yep, there's a Prama Roar. However, the Ravage coming out. He does have Pulverize, but not enough mana for it. It's not gonna matter, gets the kill. He uproars after the fact, and he's in trouble. Yo, Posh, TP out, I said in trouble. Never mind. he's good. FPC, is he in trouble? He is tanky boy. On this tight under, he's got that Hood of Defiance. Has another Anchor Smash to use as well. The knockback's constantly from Laurel to the Swashbuckle, and they will cut him down. Oh, they make the kill on the tight. Hoodwing shows up as well, and here comes the so that's the target you're worried about. Roger, the pulverized range. Uh, I mean, okay, that was another one of those cases like the Marcy where it, it seems like that Skywrath was a little... One charges to work with, like, this kill never happens unless he obnoxiously steps out of position like this. Oh. This would be the way. That's pretty aggressive in terms of positioning. All right, I'll, 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 yeah, tank, I'll tank it for that. Well, that was a little cost of curse. <laughs> There's four heroes now there instead of the two initially, right? So that makes sense. But when it was just Yo. Undying and Beastmaster at the tower, I don't know about that. Well, well see, they wanted to fight, though. Like, that's why he was skirting the, the tree line, is because Yopaj was nearby. So they wanted to Ravage into Onslaught. Instead, they're just going to separately die here. Yopaj has to commit the Pulverize. We'll try to walk it off. Might be lucky to get away, because Lal chooses to go for the easy pick onto the Hoodwinker. They're in tank clear and punished Boom for not trying to take the tower first. Boom. We'll at least turn it into a kill back the other way. Notice they have to commit the Ravage as well to try and kill the Beastmaster off, and it still takes a long time. Uh, Skywrath was picked up in the process too, so a little bit more there, but yeah, they're making sure to make that kill happen. The Ravage being the big cooldown. Pulverize, 20 more seconds. It's going to be good to go, but now it's one, Tim's. Opens up, stun on the Troll Warlord, speed of stuns, Laurel's jumping in, and so is the Primal Beast of Requiem from the distance, hits the fear, Troll Warlord's low, he's gonna pop his ultimate right there, if the Battle Trance, Roshan's still well alive, but Tahak, he's being kited, the Battle Trance gonna wear off any second, but Shadow Fiend also collapsed out by the Pangolari, but down goes the Troll Warlord, Laurel, he's having trouble here, and Chance slow, he's been heavily slowing down, FPC looking to finish the stop, there's the Onslaught forward, just set a range, the Trample doing a little bit of work, Laurel Diffusal. somehow alive the gets out of there. Diffusal slow enough. I, that Diffusal saved the day for himself there. If it wasn't for that, your Yopage would have got one or two true right now. I mean, even the supports of Boom are obnoxiously tanky. Not in raw HP, but like the way they play. So Enchantress has a four staff plus the Untouchable. And then a Hoodwink has a four staff as well as Scurry. And they have a Ravage in. They just found one. Front Roar gets forced out, but it's too late. Panko is gone. Yeah. What is happening to Bear Boom? It, they're, they seem scattered. Uh, they, they are just trying to buy time for the Troll Warlord. I mean, that's just pretty much is the game plan here. It feels like they want at least another damage out of that, that one more item syndrome as we referred to a couple of times. But this is going to be a death now of Beastmaster as well. So two core. Is it good? Jackie Boy's got time? Oh. <laughs> yes. That's such a bad feeling for the Troll Warlord. He's like, he's like, all right, I'm just going to hide now. I see these TPs maybe coming in, and all of a sudden, he's just dead. I, I mean, it's one of those situations where you're like... Back to his team, and then they just blow up to Hawk as soon as it wears off. So, unfortunate mistake there. And that is going to at least be the middle set of Rax. Uh, it definitely, potentially. I mean, he still has Ravage. Yeah, th yeah, this really might just be the game. Laurel jumps in, doing what it can. Buyback is still available on the troll, but refusing to use it for the time being. 
There is the Ravage to stop the Rolling Thunder, and the dead Pango is there. He buys back on Pango, and it is going to be enough of a hold, including a Bash Brock with a Swashbuckle, and Laurel is moving forward, KP. Yeah, they need to get a lot done here, though. Well, he's going to get the rebound attack on the Shadow Fiend. Dust reveal here. BKB on cooldown for five seconds, but have they got the burst? It's going to be tight, but just enough. SF gone, and FBZ in a bit too deep will join his friendly SF in the early grave here. But still a big mountain for Bet Boom to climb. It's still a 23k net worth lead. They had to buy back on the Pangolier. And one of the tier fours is already almost dead. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's considering the situation, it keeps them in the game. I'll say that for Bet Boom, certainly. And the fact that Troll Warlord did hang on. So Troll, no buyback, but yeah, he has the item he was going for in the nullifier. And we might Wait, see the engagement going? now. Yep, Laurel, Laurel is going in. He's gonna jump in. He finds the Shadow Fiend in the back lines. The follow-up, though, isn't necessarily gonna be there just yet. Onslaught oh, board, so Enchant is locked down, but the Primal Beast is in. Almost getting the kill on Skyrath. Not gonna happen, though, but now to Hawk. He's got the beat down. He is gonna pop the Battle Trance, and this time it works as planned. Buyback from Enchantress, not gonna be happening for the Primal Beast, though. Jack Boys with the Battle Trance wearing off to Hawk. He's deciding to back up now. Jack Boys needing to survive himself. His BKB's up. FBZ still has Ravage, by the way. Has an effect of sitting in the face, but this is kind of that natural transition. They buy the smoke, and I feel like that we're going to see an attempt soon here from Bet Boom to kind of smoke out all those five like this, and now they're going to go for the play, whether or not they're able to find that kill. I mean, Enchantress is up here by herself, but that's not really the kill you're looking for. You want something else you want? This Primal Beast? Oh, oh that was awkward. Yo, Posh. Primal Roar. You got the BKB off. Here comes uh, Dahak, though. With the beat down, he gets a Lotus Orb. Reflections kicking in. Mystic Flare, though, melts him. He's out for 90. Has a buyback, though. Then he counter initiation. It. The Ravage and KP. That's now their turn. Now they're going to move in for it. Requiem Bomb. Good enough to get rid of the troll. Now gone for 80 seconds. Big kill into Huck, but he does have buyback. And you can see the hesitation, the way that Bet Boom commit there. In the end, they go a little bit too deep. Just great play by Boom as well. Like the patience being shown, they're willing to sacrifice an arm to take the head of their opponent, and they do exactly that. If Bet Boom has to, you know, the power of the memes. Bet Boom want to end in favor of them. The hack's going to move in hunting. Prime Roll's going to come out. They're going to roll through. Ravage is going to be forced out, and it does connect in time to fall Ravage as well. Troll Wall has used BKB. Requiem there. Oh, He's oh, gone. Oh. The hack has no opportunity to respond. Refresher is too late from the Pangolier. He is also going to hit the deck. What a move out of Boom. I mean, yeah, double Ravage is pretty good. It's a very obvious statement, I know, but it seems like, uh, you know, it took a while before that eventually became evident. The ancient people. It's exposed. This is it. Yeah, but there's the buybacks, and immediately Shadow Fiend just blinks away. Not going to give them a shot. Go for dive. Catch Tidehunter, and Laurel's going in, though. Laurel wants us to make it, make a play out of this. Lotus Orb is a plat, as mentioned. So Reg. Rolling Thunder, going for the Shadow Fiend now. Meanwhile, FBZ, uh, obviously no Ravage, but they're still trying to beat him down. However, there's the Requiem Explosion, the Fear on a Pango, but Shadow Fiend realizing it didn't fear to Hawk, respecting the BKB of his. Battle Trance is still ready to be used as well. FBZ eats out. the cheese. He's good. Seneco, speaking of getting out, his Aeon just pops there, and... Now he's vulnerable. Uh-oh, Troll Warlord, and he gets found. He's in trouble. He have pops his battle trance, but once again, the Watermelon trying to take him for a walk right there. Lift it up, and there it is. Oh, Tahak, he's still alive with the life steal, but finally, the trample on through is too much to handle, and he's out for 100 plus seconds now. No buyback this time around. Laurel, likely to be the same story. Yes, a couple more auto attacks, and Boom right, is going to take game number one. Oh, well, way to clean it up as well. Bet Boom just backed into a corner, the double buyback means they have to go find a fight, otherwise Boom is just going to wait them out, and Boom, the patience, the... the you, uh, it gives you a secondary, like, soft reset, right? But it plays into the Drought Ranger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Curse will slow down a PC from pursuing. Oh, Roger's in. Roger. Ambitiously what? so. Uh, luckily, the stun from LOL saved the day, uh, but the oh, stun no. follow-up from FBZ might still lead to a death for Roger. Kane, yeah, yo, Posh, slight to finish the job. I mean, Roger, right there. The fact that even off this draw pick, Boom didn't really resolve the lack of push issue. They don't have heroes that take towers. So, Bet Boom do have a, a prime opportunity to shrink the map very fast. At which stage, Boom, outside the Ember, not many heroes will be able to split push lanes. FBZ might be in some trouble here. This Whoopsie. all started with the dispose initially, but he's in the trees. Almost definitely die. 
Again? Speaking of dying, and dying might be dying. It's like a confusing one to say ten times. <laughs> Realized it as uh, I was in the process of doing so. But the death is there. How? Th Bottom lane. Sitting in, Tombstone was put down to Hawk realizing, but did he realize too late? It looks like it. Frost arrows, the nice spear right into that tree way over there, and Jack Boys will finish the job with the multi shot coming out, so. Rotation of the Drow Ranger is now going to transition into taking over this bottom lane. I like the approach Jackie took to that rotation. I mean, it's oh, honest. Lal's going to take it. Okay. Yeah, there's that stack. Tim's? Yeah, but the stun. If there's any follow up, Lal dies. Tim's, he dodges the stun. Lal in trouble now. Will he try to take out the pesky squirrel first, but price is going to be paid. He's dead. Roger might be in trouble too. Noticed will at least be able to turn this around though. The trample spooking your page a little bit, but not enough to make him hesitate about chasing after Roger too. Yeah, and it's the farm, you know, being split quite a bit throughout, but that really was all that hoodwink. Not only from the stacking in initially, would be enough to kill off your page. Yeah, just either way, it do, it doesn't feel like Ember Spear should get out with the global silence use and the free no. tank that with the setup. So you know, whatever it may be, it's that that is unfortunate for them as a team. Uh, and Marcy going down at the bottom lane continues to be a bit more unfortunate. But notice, it's not going to let that deter him from going for more. Going for Skem. Tombstone's put down and rips himself, but eventually killed. FBZ thinking about protecting the Tombstone. That's not going to happen, though. And he'll settle for the undying kill at the top lane. For a drow to find you. Just the guards silencing all three of them, so no counterattack opportunity. And now instead, attacks going to come the other way. Tries to use the illusion to dodge out the spear, not able to do so, but the global silence prevents a follow-up from FBZ and turns into a tier one take now for Betboom. Oh, that, he, he wanted to get that arena off, but he mentioned the global silence. Yeah, and he's dead. <laughs> it's just a, a bit after bit after bit, and eventually Marcy goes down. Yeah, it's one of those funky interactions between Bushwhack and Spear, because like when you spear them out, it stops the Bushwhack. <laughs> the arena. Lull's been found here. Bloodstone activate. They need to get out of range of him. Notice, what are you doing, sir? That's a wall. You can't walk through it. No matter how angry you are. All right, we found the counter to Primal Beast. Just drop an arena. He can't do anything. Yopai's now committed in. Long range poke from Drow. Good enough. And the Disco Pony is dead. But they're going to find more. Primal Beast bushwhacked in the tree line. Second one falling. Cool. The BKB activated for nothing. Double kill for Jackie. Just as he needs the Cheddar. I guess plenty is the primal beast just on a treadmill like that the arena i mean maybe is the counter primal beast but it should be when he's got a bkb oh speaking of which primal beast is going to dive in deep global science going to come out they lock down the ember undying also on the chopping block tp out attempt by fbz will not oh. be successful and just like that bet boom got roche yeah and three kills roshan kill bet boom yep they're feeling great all of a sudden fbz looking for his own jump gets exposed no, something's up. We're thinking, oh, the curse! The curse was so clutch right there. Prevents the blink, and now it's Primal Beast turn. He pops the BKB. He charges it. He starts pulverizing Drow on the back line. That's not what you want if you're Boom. And Drow is dead. FBZ, the defensive arena is not even going to work. He falls. Skem goes down as well. And the disaster continues for Boom. It doesn't really matter, but they're going to smoke up. Head top, Tim's. Could be victim if he's not careful. Oh, oh no, or Ember Spirit can be. Yeah, they saw the remnant. He goes to it, and he is dead. Pulverized one, two. 50 seconds out for Tim's. Might get away, but that's the last thing you really care about if you're, if you're bad boom. How many heroes can screw up where they're, they're trying to like initiate on someone and still recover it like that? But there are not many in the game. Promo Beast is a. Uh, a very rare specimen there. He curved the onslaught around, got close enough that Marcy was able to just hop in and get the initial stun, and then pulverized follow-up as a mute. Speaking of that Marcy, she's not done yet. Bot lane instantly finds the Mars. Oh. Skem. Oh, damn. Just got the tip that's happening. It's too little, too late. Blink away in time by Mars. Lal will be prevented from pursuing for the time being, but they're still going to try to initiate Dahak. He just dives in with the TP to the back line with the BKB activated. Global Science comes out. Drow standing at ground, but overwhelmed. And Dahak not only gets the kill on Drow first, but he still has that second life to work with. And the follow-up is going to bring the pain. Boom at risk of being wiped here. Tim's only one to get out, but the rest of Boom are going to hit the deck and go nap time. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's, that's confidence. So it will turn to a 5 v 5 fight unless you can be quick. FBZ, not quick enough. Nurse gets the BKB off. He charges through, connects on the oh, free. No. 
Backline exposed. Boom. Not able to do anything. Drow Ranger, the premium target for Bet Boom, as they take another clear fight win. I mean, yeah, FBZ, really unfortunate timing there. He, he's the one that jumped, thinking that he had the initiation, but the onslaught from Primal Beast. And the team of Bet Boom just completely ignored the Mars. He couldn't even get off his arena. And for all that, for the future Bet Boom opponents here in the group stages, want to look back at this game and... Obviously, it's not the most it's the biggest secret that he is a he's proper player, but just crap respecting it. But they've gone in. Roger, they have gone in. There's the BKB, and the arena comes out, and notice this is going to show that he's frustrated shot. about the situation, and he's like, oh, smash your face in then, Mars. He's dead. Marcy went a little too far. I, 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 you say too far. She done what she needed to. You know, this, this guy... Of him, yep. New ability. They've got BKBs, not nearly well, but get Hex like this to open up with, not so good for you. Pulverize, lockdown, and Drow's just gone. Follow up on the Mars, and, and Drow, she has no buyback. This this is done. Without the Drow, they have no way of fighting this. Mars is going to try, but no. GG is called. It's actually official. Bet Boom splits the series. And they come through for their second.